Welcome back to Hannity. Tensions remain high in Maryland today. A Baltimore judge met behind closed doors with lawyers from both sides to discuss the possibility of a retrial for one of the officers in the Freddie Gray case after a mistrial was declared yesterday. Also today, a brand new NBC Wall Street Journal poll reveals that race relations in America are now at a two-decade low. And only 34% of you, the American people, think that race relations are good. 64% say they are bad. Here with reaction, Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark, Maryland Sheriff Mike Lewis, and former NYPD Detective Bo Deedle. Guys, welcome all of you. Sheriff Clark, I'll start with you. Doesn't surprise me. To what extent does the president, being a three-time loser on the Cambridge police, on Trayvon Martin, on, on what happened with Michael Brown in that case and Officer Wilson, to what extent do you blame him for that number, Sheriff Clark? Well, I think he's uh, played a big role in that. You know, the election of the first black president uh, should have brought us a little further in terms of race relations. That's always going to be a work in progress. We know that. But to have been set back like this, I think is quite phenomenal. Yeah. You know, Mike Lewis, you were in the middle of this whole issue that was going on in Ferguson. What are your thoughts? Sean, it's unprecedented. As, as uh, Sheriff Clark just stated, uh, we all had great expectations and great hope for the first black president of the United States. Instead, he clearly has set race relations back uh, like I've never seen in 31 years of law enforcement. And by the way, I said, Baltimore, I said uh, uh, Ferguson. I meant Baltimore. But look, it's, it's really, really bad. Here's what we brought up on the program last night. There should have been a change of venue, number one. I believe if there was a change of venue, that these, the, the officer would have been acquitted. No, they, I don't see the evidence that they can put on any of the officers. And you, know, it's, you, know, I, you know, Sean, I've been in law enforcement all my life. And a case like this, when you're overcharged with a manslaughter, that meant that that cop had to know in his mind that that man was going to die. And it, that's what they're trying to say. Also, what's going to come out now, Sean, is they're going to see how many people voted to acquit and how many voted to right. find them guilty and that will supposedly determine but I think the irresponsible state's attorney when she made the, the mentions that she did on TV that would have been a mistrial or would have been the a reversal. Mayor, the attorney, yeah. everybody, you know, and, and where is the prosecution of all of those people? Oh, I said it last night. Yeah. Everybody gets angry with me. I said, look, at, let them peacefully demonstrate. And then pick out the troublemakers, the arsonists, the ones that were looting the stores and burning them down. They committed felonies. Why aren't they being locked up? You know, I don't know something. You want to demonstrate? I'm for peaceful demonstrations. That's what America is about. But don't burn my store down and don't rob my store. You know, you, you know Sheriff Lewis, you're from the area. They have videotapes of people. We showed the video multiple times on this program of people involved in these crimes, to the best of my knowledge, they haven't used that, those videos to arrest these people. Why not? They have not shown there's extensive video footage of these crimes occurring. Felonious burnings of buildings, felonious assaults of police officers, individuals that were destroying property all over the city, hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage done in certain areas of the city, but overall millions of dollars of damage been done to Baltimore City, and not one of those individuals has been held accountable because we're too busy recklessly charging police officers, rushing to the gun to see these officers are held accountable for her own personal and political gain. It's no. reckless, it's wrong, and we have seen that in the first trial. You know, Sheriff, this happens again and again. In other words, we have video, people rioting, committing crimes, looting, burning things down, and we never use the video to get these people. Well, now a lot of people are, are hanging in the balance. What's going to happen with each verdict as it comes in if people don't get the, what they were told they were expected to get a guilty verdict? So on this show, uh, prosecutor, right Ms. Now, Mosby, has, Sheriff Clark. has been on a, uh, a political witch hunt. This uh, prosecutor has been on a political witch hunt from the beginning. She set up an unrealistic expectation for the people of Baltimore that, that she could get these cops. If she had an ounce of integrity, she would dismiss all the charges against all these officers, let Baltimore's finest go back to work serving the city to help bring down that mur murder rate and that violent crime and, and, rate. But why to retry they this do that? officer... Well, they well to retry that, this officer will be a miscarriage of justice. The reason they won't is because 
uh, she's trying to save face right now, and, and she doesn't know how to get out of this. But that would be the proper thing, the ethical thing to do. That's why I said if she had an ounce of integrity, she would dismiss these charges so Baltimore could move forward. You know, she created that expectation, as Sheriff Clark is saying there, Bo, yeah. and, and now you got to wonder, okay, all those people that were in the streets, you know, that thought, ex <laughs> had an expectation of a verdict. You know, it makes me laugh, and I'm really laughing, not the death of that young man. I don't want to see anybody die. But what makes me laugh is now they're going to try to use this cops uh, this cop against the driver of the van mm -hmm. and try to get him to testify that he drove the van, van real recklessly rough ride. and if, if the other guy seat belted him in what you have here the most is a violation of rules and procedures and it was said that for three years nobody was putting anybody in the seat belts when he put him into the paddy wagon my whole thing is you got to find intention here these cops had no intentions of killing that man and with the way he was dragged I just want to find out that his, he had an operation on his neck prior I'm just wondering yeah. if that operation had something to and do with it. And the city already gave $6.4 million to the right. family. Right. And the jury and million. everyone in Baltimore knows they gave yeah. them $6 million. Everyone knows that. You know what? they got to take it out of venue, and that's the way it's got to be. All right. Last question. Quick answers. Sheriff Lewis, are cops now afraid to do their job? Is there the so-called Ferguson effect? Absolutely, Sean. And it's nationwide. It's not just in the state of Maryland. It's all over this country. I was down in North Carolina last week. I experienced it firsthand with sheriff's deputies in North Carolina last week. They are very fearful. And, 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 and like, believe me, it's everywhere I go, not just yeah. in the state of Maryland. They are fearful to do their jobs. No one wants to go to jail. No one wants to be indicted or charged Scary. by young, inexperienced prosecutors like we saw in this case. All right, guys. Thank you all for being with us.